everybody, it's Michael from GotcharRocks.com and I am working on a, a piece today that is in white gold and I've just uh, cast it and cleaned it up a little bit and I'm noticing that the metal is actually very work hardened. Um, here's a uh, shot of the pendant there. It has one prong essentially that's going to have uh, hold a very large emerald. Here's the emerald. So this is a fragile stone. Uh, so what I need to do is to anneal this prong, or actually the whole piece, so that I can bend this prong over the emerald without damaging it. Now the way we do that is we heat this up to around four, uh, 1350 to 1400 degrees, which is cherry red. At that point, we just uh, hold the temperature for about 30 seconds, and then just slowly let it air cool. Now this is a little different than yellow gold, uh, in that uh, we, if it was yellow gold, we would heat it up to about cherry red let it dull a little bit, and then pick it up and quench it in water. So those are the differences. White gold, air cool. Yellow gold, let it dull a little bit, and then quench. All right, so here's the video. Um, just uh, take a look at how long I'm actually heating the metal up and um, when I pull the flame away, and I just let it air cool. Here it is. In preparation for the uh, the annealing, I dipped this into isopropyl alcohol, 90% isopropyl, uh, and boric acid. So that's uh, the fire coating that will you know, protect it from uh, getting fire scale or anything like that. So I'm heating this up. You can notice that the flame is between uh, 4 inches and 6 inches. I'm using a very like sort of broad uh, flame as opposed to something that's very sharp or hot. So I'm slowly heating the white gold up, and you're going to notice that uh, parts of it, especially this little prong here, there it goes, are getting um, quite red. So I want to slowly heat the rest of the piece up, and I want to hold this uh, for about 30 seconds or so. And what that does is it basically brings it back to a state that uh, once we've let it air cool, we'll be able to bend the metal much easier than we will at um, this point. There you can see it's getting cherry red. I'll we'll probably take the flame away here in a sec. You'll see the tip will get white hot there for a second, and that's about as far as you want to take it right there. Okay, well, once you have that done and you've let it air cool, then it's time to uh, just put it in the pickle. Let it sit there for a few minutes and make sure that all the uh, the boric acid uh, that we used as a fire coating um, is off, and then clean it, repolish it, and hopefully uh, it will um, be successful in annealing. So you should be able to work the, the metal. If not, do it one more time and um, go through the process again. That's, that's what you can do. So uh, that's it, and I hope this helps. Uh, if you haven't joined uh, gotcharocks.com and become a member, it's free right now. Um, please do so. There's lots of free materials and downloads on there. So um, thanks a lot and have a great day. Bye.